So he came and dragged this pipe through here while he was talking. But the wall is that hooked up to? There's nothing here. Well, looks like this will work. Give us a few extra hours anyway. Thanks, Odin. Okay, Evie, I... Hello? Guess I'll catch up with you all later then. They left him behind. We're gonna find him later. Dead. So, this looks interesting over here then. I was looking at this. So that was their oxygen supply three days ago is when everything went to shit. And then, burp. Gone. But the algae population after a, a three days, two days ago, suddenly skyrocketed. So that must be when nobody was monitoring it. And then it suddenly died off yesterday. So, yeah. The equilibrium was completely screwed up. And the oxygen production two days ago went whoop up to match and then down again. And yeah, even though there was nobody here to breathe it, from three to two days ago, the oxygen stayed down. Production went high, but the oxygen supply didn't. Where was it going? That's interesting. Yeah. So maybe they were tanking the oxygen off to an external source, like a lifeboat or something. Hmm. Alright, let's rewind and follow other people and see what they get up to. Alright, what do you say, folks? Yay or nay? Obviously, we're on board. I'm in. Me too. Okay. All right. Well, we non-essential personnel need to figure out how to do everything we can to set this mission up for success. Then get the hell out of your way as quickly as possible. Time is oxygen, people. Break. I'll I um. Went along with this. I'll head downstairs and get I didn't started on. To either. Oh my. Now let's see what she's working on. We're gonna follow Evie now. Urgent all hands meeting right now. Subject time in botany, uh, already get here. Okay. Would a please have killed her, you know? So, messages with, uh, Sarah. Uh, standard practice is don't use cryo for any longer than absolutely necessary. That's not what I asked. Right, sorry, 72 hours without serious risk of brain damage. Past that, you're pushing it. How much oxygen? Blah, 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 blah. I mean, hardly any at all. Wait, where are you going with this? Okay. And then with Natali, uh-huh. But Bert says she could uh, do her part in the time we have if she doesn't sleep, and blah blah blah. And I need to write up a serious layer of uh, interpreter code for us to pilot it from the inside, but blah blah blah, it's going to be tight. And if you had more than 48 hours to work with, every little bit would help. Okay, okay, hold on, just checking something. Interesting. Hmm. So they might not have left three days ago, because they had to set up an escape no. plan. Yeah, and something that they wouldn't otherwise be able to pilot themselves. They had mm. to jury rig something. Like an automated cargo sh uh, shuttle or pod or something. Yeah, something, like something that. that would, you know, be automatically taking shit away from the station like a yeah. trash collector. Yeah. Oh, yeah, imagine they, they, they flush the themselves out with the... Yeah, the poop scoops. They ride the poop scoops to freedom. <laughs> nice. Okay, I'd do that. If, if it was my last resort, I'd be like, yep, yeah, okay, just stuff me in there and fire me yeah, out the Yeah, poop airlock. washes off. Yeah. Death kind of... Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can't, you can't wash death off now. Okay, so with uh, Roberta Williams, uh, but what if we weren't sending it down to get supplies? Ah, yeah, there it is. What if we weren't sending it down to get supplies? What if we were sending ourselves down in the delivery drone? Yes, with some modifications, the bigger issue would be the lack of life support. So they were probably tanking off all the oxygen to a life support vessel. 
Uh, salvaged from around Tacoma, we could ri uh, rig up oxygen pressure, climate control, blah, blah, blah. Drone down to Luna and get home from there. Oh, so they were going to go to... Yeah, because I would imagine that drone maybe doesn't go through atmosphere. Could burn Well, up. plus not at the Lagrange point, it... Mm. I'm not sure, but the, the moon might actually be closer. Mm. Yeah. Uh, if we're not confident in VT making it up here before the O2 runs out, uh, we can't call for pickup. Getting down to Luna is our only real hope. Okay, sit tight. Gr good idea. Thanks, Bert. Okay. Because, yeah, you can see most of the data wasn't corrupted because it's very close. This is three days ago. All right, let's see where they go from here. Okay. Now we actually have to build hey, this thing. Andrew. Clive. Andrew. Want to talk? Sure, Evie. Are, are you okay? Evie. Hey, Evie. Hey, um, I know you're all, like, gung-ho to help us out and everything, but I did the math. Uh, if we could get this done in, like, 48 hours, not 72... Could the rest of us wait longer to go in? Exactly. Listen, ladies, I get it. You're trying to do right by us, but every minute we wait to go in is a minute you don't have to get this thing flying. And knowing what we know about VT, we've got to give you every chance we can to succeed. So there's no way we can convince you? We made a plan. Now we just need to hold up our end of the bargain. Then yeah, I that is really we tiny. Stop wasting time and look at that. Work. This is gonna be good, Evie. You just wait. Of your life. In more ways than one. I didn't think things would end like this. Did you? What do you mean, end? Oh, come on, Clive. What? You really think they can turn that thing into a passenger vehicle in two days? We might as well hold our breath and just try dog paddling it. <laughs> but Listen, it's, it's okay. We know it's not safe working up here. We just don't think about it a lot, but here we are. And we knew it all along. But VT could- VT's not fucking coming, Clive. VT's not fucking coming. You think sending a crew up here at the drop of a hat just to check on things is worth it to them? Dollars and cents, Clive. You know what one of those fuckers said to me one time? If it doesn't make dollars, it doesn't make sense. Hmm. Them sending a crew up in time, it just doesn't make sense. So you're just giving up then? No. We're doing what we said we'd do. Bert and Nat, they are our only shot and we have got to take it. But I can also be realistic that- Evie. I don't want to be realistic with you. Oh. Well, time to go make final preparations, then. <laughs> but not too finally. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm picturing it. The day we'll be walking together, like this. But the gravity, it won't be artificial. I mean, isn't it strange? We've, we've never felt the Earth's pull together. One day. Mm -hmm. One day. Oh, Evie. Uh, do you I think find it interesting that into medical? when we look out all I the windows, make sure we've never the actually seen it. the damaged part of the station? Actually, <clears throat> there is. Let me just go back. Or at least we can see something that's smashed up anyway. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, it's gone round. Those containers over there have big rips in them. Oh, okay. So, yeah. Yeah, so they do. They're all identical rips, but <laughs> they're there <laughs> nonetheless, you know. So that must have, they must have been like the oxygen tanks that blew or something when you look at them. Mm -hmm. You would think that they would keep the oxygen supply on the inside somehow, <laughs> shield it a little bit better, yeah. you know. Yeah, yeah. That's it. But yeah, that's right, Brad W. They've, they've exploded outwards, so, you know, basically, it probably just made like a tiny hit, and then the pressure inside would have ripped the container apart as it all tried to escape. 
But yeah, look at that. Well, yeah, it, it's explosive decompression. Yeah. It's not that vacuum sucks things out. It's that you get blown out. Yeah, it gets dragged out, too. Look at that. Ouch. So, yep, uh, there was damage. But yeah, how about that? These two actually got together. Oh. Let me just back up a little bit. Look at them. Oh, oh Evie. Uh, do you think you could get everyone to medical? I, I want to make sure they've got the best shot at waking back up once they do go in. Uh, all right. How about this? Let's give folks a little time to regroup. But why don't Clive and I follow you over there right now mm -hmm. and get ours done? No time like the present. Lead the way. Evie, I... Hello? Guess I'll catch up with you all later then. Okay, so we saw that. So, I think what we'll do is follow the doctor, since she seems to show up here. So when she leaves this guy down here, let's see where she goes. But yeah, she just, like, blanked on that whole, oh, they're holding hands. <laughs> Didn't say a word. Odin, I'm freaking oh, out. Dear. I'm freaking out. Close your eyes. I did already. A light wind rustles the green tall grass. Your skirt billows gently. Warm sun caresses your back. Yes. You begin walking forward. The grass is cool. Your feet parted with each step. Let's have a look what she's working on. Oh, she brought up a picture of, uh, of a field look. Oh. Captured three days ago. Yeah. Do you see what is in front of you? As I step through the grass, I naturally come upon a path. Yes. The dirt of the so the dirt of the path is soft on the soles of my feet. I don't know what's going to happen to us, Odin. Sarah. <laughs> I am striding forward confidently upon my appointed path. Wherever it takes me is where I am meant to be. I am striding confidently on my appointed path. Sarah? Yes, Odin? Are you going to be all right? I think so. Oh, Evie. Okay. <clears throat> so we've seen that. Supply level of chickens. Mulched. Plenty of it. Uh, what the hell is that? Is that supposed to be some kind of fish? Because I don't want to eat that. That looks gross. It looks kind of like tuna, though. Like that, the way the meat looks. It's a salmon. Oh, it's a salmon, right? Uh, so look at it. It's disgusting. It's an ugly salmon. Cow. I mean, yes. Have you ever seen them? They do have weird-looking mouths like really? that. Really? Oh, so. do they have like a weird hook, beaky kind of yeah. mouth? Ah, okay. Yeah. Yeah, they do. Usually when I buy them, they come already chopped into pieces. Oh, the thing you're going to see when you come to a country <laughs> that actually has wildlife in it. Oh, hey, fungus. Oh, look, the cat! We found the cat. The cat does not give a shit. He's just like, no, I'm just going to sleep up here above all the ground beef. So there's the botanist. I wonder if they were kind enough to remember to take the cat with them <laughs> when they did their whole escape thing and did they factor in its oxygen needs and mm -hmm. so on and so forth. That's it. Oh, no, look at this, look. Ingredients. Palm oil. I would have thought we'd have gotten rid of palm oil by this time in the future. That stuff is evil. It's bad for you. Herbal enhancer. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> 
wonder if that's why the fish level is low, the cat's eating it all. <gasps> Could be, yes. See, people are buying all this nice cat food for it, like this turkey stuff and so on, and it's like, nah. I want I want the salmon down in the uh, down in the food bay, yeah. Venturist technology policy request, uh, policy change request form, specific request with reasoning. I hereby request that the following exception to the Venturist corporate policy, uh, the kale and calendar official request and uh, official corporate day uh, of mourning to be instituted on September 15th of each year memorialising the Tibetan genocide of 2052. Ooh. My family and thousands of others were indelibly uh, sundered at this horrific ethnic cleansing attempt. My parents and I escaped Tibet as refugees. My grandmother, like so many others, was not so lucky. Her memory spurs me to make this request once more. Days of memorial like this are crucial to ensuring that the memory of the people and traditions lost in this terrible event. Hmm. 0281. I wonder why that code is there. That was the code for the door that you've already been through. Oh, it was, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. That's a nice pencil tin. This guy really likes his art. Oh, I just tossed his pencil tin there. There we go. Uh, what is this? So, I've noticed something. Let's go back down into the thingy, uh, irrigation room. That's very strange. That guy has a collection of stones, and there's one down here. I wonder what happens when we put it back on the, uh, on the shelf. Probably nothing, but, you know. Gotta try these things. Just like mist, if you find something, you gotta fiddle with it. Uh-huh. Well, nothing happened, so... Okay. Oops. Dear contractor in good standing, Dagyab. Uh, this message confirms completion of your requested currency conversion. Loyalty has been removed from your account at a value of $154,155 SGD. I'm guessing SGD is like a universal um, monetary unit. <clears throat> has been applied to your Venturist Belt Employee Investment Plan uh, pre-registration fee. You are now a proud owner of Orbital Bungalow. Oh, he bought himself a bungalow. Cool. Uh, number 0182 in the Venturis Belt. When facilities become operational later in 2088, you will make uh, uh, you will make money every time a passenger rents your Orbital Bungalow. Oh, right. He bought it like real estate. He's becoming a landlord. Cool. Congratulations on the wise investment and welcome to the Venturis family. Cool. This guy was thinking ahead. You know, he's got a whole plan worked out. Smart investor. To all Except it's all caught up in uh, <clears throat> in committee and yeah. crap because of that bill. Well, that's it. Yeah, there's legalities involved, so, you know. Hmm. Oh, well. I mean, if it all falls through, then he'll have real estate either way. He could live there. So, you know, if they're allowed to yeah, operate them with human yeah, crews. Yeah, that's the thing. Yeah. If they're not allowed to operate them at all, then mm. nobody can go there. That's it. He's got an empty home that nobody can live in. Hi everyone, my orchids have been growing gloriously in botany this winter and they're ready to be propagated. If anyone would like a small orchid plant to brighten up their bunk, let me know. Uh, they do take a bit of care, but I'm happy to include instructions and answer any questions. Please write back. Oh, they look nice. Right. Okay, well that didn't really open up any secrets. So let's rewind again and follow the other people. 
on essential personnel. Need to figure out how to do everything we can to set this mission up for success. Then get the hell out of your way as quickly as possible. Time is oxygen, people. Break. I can't I'll, believe um, everybody went along with this. I'll head downstairs. I'm I didn't sorry. expect them to either. Oh my god. Okay. So now we actually have to build this thing. Yeah, that was the whole point. Hold on, I need to ask Evie something. Okay. Evie! Hey, Evie, hey, um, I know you're all like gung-ho to help us out and everything, but I did the math. Uh, if we could get this done in like 48 hours, not 72. Could the rest of us wait longer to go in? Exactly. Listen, ladies, I get it. You're trying to do right by us, but every minute we wait to go in is a minute you don't have to get this thing flying. And knowing what we know about VT, we've got to give you every chance we can to succeed. So there's no way we can convince you? We made a plan. Now we just need to hold up our end of the bargain. Then I guess we should stop wasting time and get to work. This is gonna be good, Evie. You just wait. <laughs> Ride of your life. More ways than one. Okay, where do we start? Start? I got things started as soon as this all went down. I'll show you what I got lined up. To the workshops! Okay, so we can't follow them because then we leave the AR zone. <laughs> so that looks like everything we can get from here. Did we look up here already? Yep, we did. So, I wonder what they were talking about there, like... Um, probably, uh, like, they're going to put themselves in cryogenic suspension before they leave, and leave those other two alone on the station. That seems to be what I'm getting from this. Um, and let them, like, work, uh, because there's less people chewing oxygen as a result. Yeah, I mean, it would make sense, right? Mm. Because then you also have less power drain and so on and so forth. Yeah. Any of those other factors make a difference as well. That's it, yeah. And then they were worried about how long you can stay in cryogenic suspension, any longer than 72 hours. And it's like potential mm -hmm. brain damage. So that's why she was all like, uh, you know, but if you guys go in too early and leave us alone, then that's problems for you, you know, so. Yeah. Anyway, so we're at 50%. Let's see if there's any messages here. <clears throat> oh, here we go. It looks like someone tried to wipe all the AR crew records from the station, but a few couldn't be deleted. System shows that the ones left behind were being accessed at the time of the wipe? Question mark. That would be me, I think. I don't know. Hmm. No, I don't think it can be you. No, actually, it couldn't, because somebody else is doing this then. Someone's trying to corrupt the yeah. data. Ooh. I'm telling you. If somebody was accessing <laughs> them at the time of the wipe, then there were two competing factors on the station. Yeah. So, one trying to do a cover up and one trying to uh, mm -hmm. figure out what was going on. So, probably um, the botanist. I told you they left him behind and now he's angry and wants revenge. Please proceed to exam room for your appointments. Happy Venturis, Healthy Health Venturis, Attending Physician, blah, 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 blah. Let's have a look around first. Oh, you can close all that. So there's some of the quarters for the doctor. Dear Sarah, we're thinking of you during this Ramadan. We hope you're celebrating in your own way up there as well. May these help you break your fast. We look forward to your next visit. Please give yourself permission to relax every once in a while during your posting. With love, Mum and Dad. Aww. Is she the one who in the gym had the notation about how her uh, caloric intake was, was slightly under? No, that was the, um, the what is it, um, the, the station administrator. The purple one. Oh, Evie. Evie, yeah. This was the one who was going, okay. you know, trying to get all ripped. Right, right, right. So she was, right, she was okay. on muscle fu food. So yeah, I would imagine yeah. Ramadan's going to put a crimp in that diet. Exactly. That's yeah. what I was thinking. It's like, hmm. 
Cool. So there's, uh, I'm guessing, some passages from the Quran here then. In the name of God, the gracious and merciful uh, Alif Lam Mim. This is the book in which there is no doubt a guide for the righteous, for those who believe in the unseen and perform the prayers and give what uh, from what we have provided for them, for those who believe in what was revealed to you and in what was revealed before you and are certain of the hereafter. These are upon the guidance from their Lord. These are the successful Surat al... I'm probably going to pronounce this horribly. Al-Fatiha. al, -Fatiha. al -Fatiha. There we go. The opening, in the name of God, the gracious and merciful, praise be to God, the Lord of the worlds, the most gracious, the most merciful, master of the day of judgment. It is you we worship, and upon you we call for help. Guide us uh, to the straight path, the path of those you have blessed. Uh, I really hate that that bit of the UI mm -hmm. sticks in the way. It's like, God, move along. Uh, you have blessed and not those against whom there is anger, nor of those who are misguided. Hmm. Oh, no, no. That, where does it go? There. Feeling deeply, feeling truly. Anxiety in the body. So yeah, she, she must have had anxiety problems then. Not just the fact that, oh god, we're all gonna die, was playing on her at that point. The mathematics of the mosque. The handmaiden's tail. Hmm. And a very dead plant. She's not very good at looking after the plants. I mean, that's been dead a long time. That's not just wilted, that's like... <laughs> yeah. Petrified wood, almost. <laughs> yeah. Uh, coconut lemon, ew. Let's get rid of that. <clears throat> what is the... oh, no. What are those? Oh, this must be what they sent her. Look, they're like chocolates. Oh. They sent her a box of chocolates. Nail I polish. Like half. Yeah. What have we got here? Nasal decongestant. Okay. And another dead plant. What's this? I mean, a dead stick in some circumstances yeah. can be aesthetic on its own. That's but. true, yeah. I mean, people buy those, like, dried sticks now and arrange them into, like, bundles, don't they? And, yeah, yeah. Yeah. 